So logarithmic functions, we're back to these. Uh, we're doing the same thing we did with the exponentials. We're finding the equation from a sketch. So you can see I've got a sketch here of a logarithmic function. It's got an asymptote, uh, sorry, a vertical asymptote. It's got a point here, an x-intercept at 3, 0, and a significant point here out at uh, 6, 3. So we're going to um, find the equation from that sketch. Now before we do that, there's a rule that bears repeating uh, because this tends to pop up in these questions very, very regularly. So uh, if you've got y, oh, actually, sorry, it's a log law that you'll need to know. So ln1, now remember that ln1 is equal to 0. And there's another log law that might pop up in these questions, and we've talked about this one before. Ln e, uh, that's going to be equal to 1. Uh, those two rules just tend to pop up in the general uh, workings for these questions. So just make sure that you've got them in your head and you're ready to use them and ready to spot them when they do pop up. Okay, so uh, this one's a little more complicated than the exponentials, but uh, the general steps are pretty much the same. Uh, step one. Uh, step one is to deal with the asymptote here. Now, you should remember that it's the B value that determines our asymptote. Uh, so we've got an asymptote at x equals 2, and when this bracket is equal to 0, that's where our asymptote appears. So we've got a bracket... When x equals 2, and that's equal to 0, that's where our asymptote will appear. And our, that means our asymptote will appear when b, sorry, with a b value of negative 2. So we have a b value of negative 2. Uh, an easy way to remember it is just that the asymptote's going to be... Um, the asymptote is going to be your b value, but with the different sign. So if your asymptote is positive 2, your b value is going to be negative 2. So with that information, we can just draw, we can do one step here. We know that y equals a ln x minus 2 plus c. Uh, so that's step 1 out of the way. Uh, step two is where we find our a value, and we're going to find our a value, or hopefully. Uh, sometimes it doesn't quite work that way. There's a whole bunch of different ways that this can pan out, uh, but you're going to see one way here. Uh, so step two, I'm going to sub in my x-intercept. There will always be an x-intercept when it comes to a logarithmic function, so I'm going to sub in my x-intercept, and you'll see what happens when I do. Uh, we've got y equals... Oh, sorry... I'm subbing in my um, x-intercept, so y is equal to 0, a ln x is equal to 3 minus 2 plus c. Okay, so we end up with 0 equals a ln 1 plus c. And this is where that handy thing pops up. You can see that ln 1 has appeared and ln1 is equal to 0. So this is going to be a times 0 plus c. So 0 is equal to a times 0 plus c. Now a times 0 is 0, so that whole thing cancels out, and we end up with 0 being equal to c. So step 2 has actually found our c value for us. Uh, so we can write that in. So now we know that y equals a ln x minus 2. Uh, plus 0. Now obviously we're not going to leave our plus 0 in there so we'll just get rid of it. So we know that this function takes the form y equals a ln bracket x minus 2. Now the final step is to find your a here and you can do that by subbing in the significant point. So step 3 sub in significant point. Okay, now when I do that, our significant point is 6, 3, so that means that 3 equals a ln x, uh, oops, the x value is 6, 6 minus 2. That means that 3 is equal to a ln 4. Now that says a times ln 4, so I can figure this out with 3 over ln 4. And that's going to be my a value. 
Now I can type that into my calculator and that will give me an A value of 2.164. Uh, Alright, so this has gone exceedingly well for us. Um, the end result is Y equals 2.164 ln x minus 2. So there's our function. Now I said this has gone exceedingly well for us. Uh, that's because step 2 has come out very, very, very neatly. Now when you start to do some of these questions, you'll see all of these weird sort of things pop up. Um, too many for me to make 10 different videos on all the different things that can pop up here. Uh, but if you sort of have a bit of a play with it and try to put some different numbers in there and try to make either an A or a C value pop out, remembering these two rules will make your life easier. Um, it's really about practice and it's really about talking to me in class when you run into these problems so you can uh, spot anything that ends up being a little bit difficult. Uh, in really extreme cases, you may even have to do some simultaneous equations and we'll talk more about that uh, when you run into them.